Welcome back everyone, it is Mike from Mana Hoarders. In this video I'm bringing you a commander deck tech for a brand new commander spoiled from Phyrexia All Will Be One, Azuri, Stalker of Spheres. You can cast this commander for two, a green and a blue, you get a 3-3 Phyrexian Elf Warrior. When Azuri enters the battlefield we can pay three and if we do we proliferate twice. Also whenever we proliferate we can draw a card. The final price for this build came in at $86.84. This includes all 99 cards except for our commander since it is so early in the spoiler season. Now do bear in mind some of the prices for these cards will vary greatly depending on the quality of the cards you purchase, the vendor you use, and a variety of other factors. Azuri has a pretty impressive ability and I also love when card draw is stapled onto a commander. Now with a proliferate strategy you can take it many different ways as there are many different types of counters in Magic's history, but we are going to go with the tried and true plus one plus one counters. So simply put, we are running lots of green and blue cards that allow us to proliferate, meaning we'll get tons of card draw off of Azuri, and then we are going to be pumping up our team's plus one plus one counters as we proliferate and give them more each time. This means eventually we'll have a humongous army we can use to just run over our opponents and take the win. Now let's go ahead and dive into the deck. First up are our artifacts. Animation module. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are placed on a permanent we control, we can pay one, and if we do, we create a one one colorless servo artifact creature token. Arcane Signet tabs to give us one color of our commander's color identity. Contagion Clasp, whenever it enters we put a minus one minus one counter on target creature, and we can pay four and tap it to proliferate. Contagion Engine puts a minus one minus one counter on each creature target player controls, we can also pay four and tap it to proliferate twice. Decanter of Endless Water, we have no maximum hand size and it can tap to give us one mana of any color. Everflowing Chalice taps to give us a colorless mana for each charge counter on it, so as we proliferate we get more charge counters and thus generate more mana. Replicating Ring gets one mana of any color, and at the beginning of our upkeep it gets a Knight counter. Whenever it reaches eight or more Knight counters we remove all of them and create eight snow artifact creature tokens called Replicating Ring. And Soul Ring will tap to give us two colorless mana. Moving on to our creatures, we do have some legends helping out our commander. Renata Call to the Hunt. She has power equal to our devotion to green, and each other creature we control that enters the battlefield gets an additional plus one plus one counter. And Rishkar Pima Renegade. Whenever he enters the battlefield, we put a plus one plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures, and each creature we control with a counter on it can tap to give us a green mana. And for our not so legendary creatures, Armorcraft Judge. Whenever it enters the battlefield, we draw a card for each creature we control with a plus one plus one counter. Blighted Agent has Infect, and it's unblockable. Bloom Hulk, whenever it enters the battlefield we can proliferate. Champion of Lamholt, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under our control it gets a 1-1 counter, and creatures with power less than Champion of Lamholt's power can't block creatures we control. Clamavus, each creature we control gets plus 1 plus 1 for each 1-1 counter on it. Dusk Shell Crawler, it enters and puts a 1-1 counter on target creature, and each creature we control with a 1-1 counter has trample. Evolution Sage, whenever a land enters the battlefield under our control we can proliferate. Fathom Mage has Evolve, and whenever a 1-1 counter is put on Fathom Mage, we can draw. Fertilit enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters, we can also pay one in the green to remove one of them, and target player searches their library for a basic land card, puts it onto the battlefield tap, and shuffles. Flux Channeler, whenever we cast a non-creature spell, we can proliferate. Guild Pact Informant, whenever it deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, we proliferate. Gyre Sage has Evolve, and it can tap to add a green mana for each 1-1 counter on it. Herald of the Secret Streams, creatures we control with 1-1 counters can't be blocked. Iridescent Horn Beetle, at the beginning of our end step we get a 1-1 green insect creature token for each plus one plus one counter we put on creatures under our control this turn. Master Biomancer, each other creature we control enters the battlefield with a number of 1-1 counters equal to Master Biomancer's power and is a mutant in addition to its other types. Merfolk Skydiver enters and puts a 1-1 counter on target creature we control. We can also pay three, a green and a blue to proliferate. Mycoloth has Devour 2, and at the beginning of our upkeep we get a 1-1 green Sapperling for each 1-1 counter on Mycoloth. Park Heights Maverick has Dethrone, can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player or dies, we can proliferate. Pollen Bright Druid enters the battlefield, we can either put a 1-1 counter on target creature or proliferate. Sage of Fables, the first part of the ability really doesn't matter, but for 2 we can remove a 1-1 counter from a creature we control to draw a card. Scurry Oak has Evolve, and whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on it, we create that many 1-1 green squirrel tokens. Skatewing Spy has Adapt 2, but each creature we control with a 1-1 counter on it has Flying. 
Thrumming Bird. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, we can proliferate. Tyrant Guard has Ravenous, and we can sacrifice it to give creatures we control with counters on them, Hexproof and Indestructible until end of turn. Urban Daggertooth has Vigilance, and whenever it is dealt damage, we proliferate. Viral Drake has Flying Infect, we can pay 4 to proliferate. And Zamek Guild Mage, with the first ability, creatures that enter the battlefield under our control this turn enter with an additional 1-1 counter, and the second ability, we can remove 1-1 counters from our creatures to draw cards. Moving on to our enchantments, Bread for the Hunt, whenever a creature we control with a 1-1 counter on it deals combat damage to a player, we draw a card. Inexorable Tide, whenever we cast a spell, we proliferate. Primal Empathy, at the beginning of our upkeep, we draw a card if we control a creature with the greatest power among creatures on the battlefield, otherwise we'll put a plus one plus one counter on a creature we control. Roaring Earth, whenever a land enters the battlefield under our control, we put a 1-1 counter on target creature or vehicle we control. Season of Growth, whenever we have a creature enter the battlefield under our control, we can scry one, and whenever we cast a spell that targets a creature we control, we can draw. Simic Ascendancy, we can put a 1-1 counter on target creature we control, and whenever one or more 1-1 counters are put on a creature we control, we put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy. And at the beginning of our upkeep, if it has 20 or more growth counters on it, we win the game. Song of Freyalese, the first two lore counters turn all of our creatures into mana dorks, and the third one puts a plus one plus one counter on each creature we control. They gain Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible until end of turn. And Wild Growth, we enchant a land we control, and whenever it's tapped for mana, it produces an additional green. Moving on to our instance, Blur. We can exile target creature we control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control, and we draw a card. Displace. We can exile up to two creatures we control, then return them to the battlefield. Fuel for the cause. We can counter target spell, and then proliferate. Ghostly Flicker. We can exile two artifacts, creatures, or lands we control, then return those to the battlefield under our control. Growth Spiral, we draw a card, and we can play an additional land. Illusionist Stratagem, we can again flicker two of our creatures, and we can draw a card. Inspiring Call, we draw a card for each creature we control with a 1-1 counter on it, and then those creatures gain indestructible until end of turn. Negate can counter target non-creature spell. Simic Charm, target creature gets plus 3 plus 3 until end of turn. Permanence we control gain hexproof until end of turn, or we can return target creature to its owner's hand. Siren's Ruse, again, lets us flicker one of our creatures. Snakeskin Veil, we put a plus one plus one counter on target creature we control, and it gains hexproof until end of turn. And Steady Progress, we proliferate and draw a card. For our sorceries, Contentious Plan, we can proliferate and then draw. Courage in Crisis, we put a plus one plus one counter on target creature and then proliferate. Cultivate lets us search for up to two basic land cards. We put one onto the battlefield tapped and the other into our hand before we shuffle. Plain Wide Celebration, we choose four modes, and we can choose the same mode more than once. We create two two citizen creature tokens, return target permanent card from our graveyard to our hand, gain four life, or proliferate. For seven mana, it seems kind of steep, but to proliferate four times is pretty good, especially if we have our commander out on the battlefield. Rampant Growth, we can search our library for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield tapped, and shuffle. Smell Fear, we proliferate, and target creature we control fights up to one target creature we don't control and Tesseret's Gambit. We can draw two cards and then proliferate. And last but not least is our mana base. We are keeping things almost entirely basic, with the exception of Karn's Bastion. Of course, I had to include the land that has the ability that lets you proliferate on it. But besides that, we are including 17 basic forests and 17 basic islands. And just like that, we reach the end of this commander deck tech for Azuri Stalker of Spheres. Spoiler season for Phyrexia All Will Be One is well underway, so there are a lot of awesome commanders coming right around the corner. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about us, and leave a comment down below. Let us know what commanders you would like to see us build around in the future. I really appreciate all of your support.